Here's your new office. Thanks. Come here, Pfeiffer. Oh, good girl. Fear does not exist in this farm, does it? Uh, um, no, no, sir? Pain does not exist in this farm, does it? No, sir. Well, well, Defeat does not exist in this firm, does it? No, sir. Come, I have to go. What do we study here? Strike first, strike hard, no mercy, sir. I can't hear you. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy, sir. Your next assignment is a small clutcher called Little Brass Bird. Go there tonight. Remember, we're not the monsters here. We're just doing our job. Dog. Lost in a pit of concentration, Chris said nothing and continued to his destination with his briefcase full of paperwork. Oblivious to the outlander's suspicious demeanor, Mrs. Hong followed by a strange wobbly wheeled fire hydrant looking... a uh, thing... arrived at the front door of the Preka Diner. Hello! Is there anybody in there? Hello? This is a restaurant, Mrs. Hong. Yes? You can come inside any time. Yes? This is a restaurant. We serve everyone. I'm just here to make a deposit. Meet Duxton. Back at the shop, our heroes began the end of their evening shift. Robin spent most of her day watching people pass by the shop window, while at the same time opening and closing the cash register, hoping for money to magically appear. Penwald, on the other hand, was modifying the computer with mysterious microwave components and bits of tape, hoping to make visual contact with his homeworld. Are you all right? asked Pen. Wait! bursted Robin. Yes! Busy? A bit. In fact, I was just about to release our new ad campaign. Robin walked to the front window, pulled a sandwich out of her bag, and placed it gently on the windowsill. That ought to grab their attention, said Robin. As she was strolling back to the counter, a familiar scent filled the room. Roderick, you're back! But when she turned around, it was only a small crowd of homeless people surrounding her sandwich. Hey, hey! We've achieved contact. Meanwhile, in the alley next to the shop, Roderick squirms and whines and withers in pain next to his favorite dumpster. Next to him, standing upright with a tail full of wag, Acid Hound Base comforts Roderick with a pleasant tune, which echoes into the black and back. Oh, having a party, having a party, get some sandwiches, get some sandwiches. What did they do to me?
I might. That's, yeah, that's true. True. <laughs> so, will you take him? Asked Mrs. Hong. I found him inside one of my clocks. He's a fantastic server, but I just don't have the room at home to keep him round. And well, my daughter. Right, with her, um, searing hatred for time. Candy Girl kindly opened the door for Tuxton. His will squeaked and squabbled as he entered the diner. There was something Mrs. Hong had mentioned earlier which caught Candy Girl's curiosity. Hello! Not that. People! Still not that. Ah! Getting closer. I found you inside one of my clocks. I wonder what she meant by that. Come on, Tuxton. Let me show you where we take the trash out. Mrs. Hong rolled away. Out on the guitar. Uh, <laughs> now, who's this? Asked Robin. <laughs> My name is Chris. My name is Tate. That's what I like knows. you, Tate. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. There's a scary man at the door. Tate, there's a scary man at the door. I kick it. Yeah. Now, listen here. Under Article 3, Paragraph 4, your establishment says to listen. He wants to listen to you. How about a Minotaur and a Cyclops and a vampire? Excuse me? How about vampire? I'm here to notify you of your building for closure. Wait a minute. We filed all the proper paperwork months in advance. If you had an issue, you could have disputed our claim at our office site. Which is? 23 West Main Street. Did you catch us talk? You mean that hole in the ground with the sign, Do Not Enter? Why does everyone here think I'm a cat? <coughs> Cobra Tie and Associates has been sending your company all the necessary notices and the paperwork for months. We've received no response. So we're taking action. I remember getting any bills or notices. Tate, have you been stealing our bills? I'm putting bullets right now. Um, you traitor. That Chuck Norris can be Bruce Lee and enjoy yourself. <laughs> can we argue with that? I'll return tomorrow with a construction crew. But before Chris could open the door, he was stopped by a profound smell. Then everyone picked up on the scent. Roderick? Forget it. <gasps> no! They're back! They're here for the sandwich. Oh, no! How many of those do you have in there? Mm. Mm. Oh, well, someone comes up to the What is that? Black Forest. Help! 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 Help!